is just some hamburger meat, 80% fat, I mean 80% um, protein, 30% fat. And I'm just sauteing this with my sweet red onion. I just have that red color on the back. And I start sauteed my onions with the Luan low carb, I mean Luan coconut oil. And I'm going to be using these steamable broccoli and cheese sauce. And I'm going to put that all together for a nice little broccoli and cheese with meat. And that's going to be the low-carb meal for the day. Um, as you guys know, I was on the 21-day water fast. only made it to day number 13. And then I decided to go to the intermittent fasting. Um, with low carb dieting or P3 lifestyle for those who are on ACG. So these uh, meals are good for P3, um, those who are on P3. So right now all I did was ground up some hamburger meat with some sweet onion. And I'm going to use Mrs. Dash, um, some liquid amino acids. Um, and this is from Bragg's. Um, I'm using the Mrs. Dash. I love this. This is the original blend. Um, I'm going to use the sea salt. And that's the Morton Fine sea salt. I'm also going to give a couple of dash of Frank's Red Hot. If you come from the north, you have to have everything with Frank. I think down here in Augusta, most people use the Louisiana hot sauce. And that's good if you like that, but I'm from the north. You love the Frank. Um, I'm also going to use a bit of the Better Than Bullion. I'm going to use a dab of that. And I'm going to mix that all up for my... Oh, one more thing. Um, you're going to have your onion powder and, sorry I said one more thing, <laughs> and your um, black pepper. Okay, and that's just going to be your seasoning. After you're done browning um, this hamburger meat with your, with your sweet onion, um, you're going to... Like I said, you're going to use your steamer, the microwave. You can steam this in the microwave for about, as, as long as it takes for it to get um, tender. They suggest on the here to microwave on high for um, four to six minutes. And then you're going to add that in with your meat. And then I'll come back again with the end product. Um, now for me, probably for work tomorrow, I'm going to take some of this ground meat and I have some failed, I said failed Oopsie Rose <laughs> or what they call Revolutionary Rose on Atkins Diet. Well, I have them and I did not throw them away, but they did not become, as you can see, they're flat. They wasn't poofy. Um, instead of using the cream cheese, which I forgot to get from the store, I used heavy whipping cream and they came out flat. Although when I put it on the tray, it was fluffy. <laughs> so I'm probably going to use those to wrap up me some hamburger meat and some more sweet onion and maybe a little bit of romaine lettuce um, uh, and a sprinkle or two of cheese. And I'm going to have that for my one meal, um, my major um, with intermittent fast, you have one big meal like after 12 or 2, depending on when you stop that night before. And I'm going to stop eat. Well, I already have stopped eating already. So my next meal is going to be tomorrow by 12 o'clock. Um, and I'm going to have everything explained, you know, on another video about that. But that's what's going to be for right now. Um, my meat is almost um, brown now. No pink, no pink is left. 
So I'm going to add this with my broccoli, and I'm going to let it steam, and then I'll come back with the finished product. Okay. Hello, you guys. This is another step. This is part two. I did want to show those who do not like using the microwave. If you don't like using the microwave, you can always just pull um, for your um, steamed vegetable, your frozen vegetables with your cheese inside of your meat. And your meat will basically do the dethawing. Um, you want to basically turn it in there, stir it in until everything gets nice and soft. Um, and sometimes, like if it get, gets too dry or whatever, I'll add another, like a fourth of a cup of water, and then I'll just put my lid on and let it steam. So I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to stir everything in so that all the seasoning can get over all the um, broccoli. And then I'm just going to cover it for, I'm going to cover it for about, five to ten minutes on low and then I'm gonna come back and show you how beautiful it looks at the end okay